do we listen to podcasts with? <laughs> I said, pulling them in. <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast. Today we got Effie and Kuma. Is that correct? Good? Yes. Okay, the voice actor for Astra in the video game Valorant. Uh, I'm super excited to talk to you. I think I think you're extremely talented, and from what I have seen on uh, other like on the internet, uh, I just I love your personality, and I, I just I love you as a person. You're you're really amazing. <laughs> I'm blushing. <laughs> how how are you doing today, first off? I'm good. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Uh where are you currently at right now? So I'm currently in Darwin, Australia, which is um like the north like almost the northernmost point of the country. Um in quarantine. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> What do you hit the world crazily and um anyone traveling back home now has to quarantine for 14 days mm -hmm. um and lucky for me i got to quarantine at this amazing place called howard springs um so it's not a hotel it's like little kind of little cabins um out in the country so we get to sit outside um socially distanced of course with our masks on but we get fresh air we get to see other people and have conversations so it's it's not as difficult as being in a hotel room by yourself yeah what are you yeah. doing in australia is that where you're from i don't um so my family live here okay um i grew up here in australia as well um i relocated to go oh, i can't say relocated because i wasn't born or never lived there but my family is from ghana okay. and so i moved there um when i was quite young a bit younger than I am now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, so my family are here. I needed to come down and see them. Um, it's been a few years since I've been home. Unfortunately, the situation's so weird, but we're mm -hmm. still doing it. So yeah. That's nice that you're going to be back there and stuff. Yeah. I mean, we're going into lock. We're, they're already in lockdown. So I'm going from quarantine into lockdown. So we're all yeah. excited, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> I bet. Um, so you said you, where'd you grow up? Like your, you know, younger years. So I grew up in Sydney, Australia, which is where my family are. So from Darwin, I'm flying down to Sydney. Uh, and I grew up mainly in, in Western Sydney, which um, is very, very diverse, um, or as we call it in Australia, multicultural. Mm -hmm. We have people from all sorts of but, um, migration background, so from refugee to skilled migrant. Um, we have people from all over the world um, here, uh, or there, I should say, in Western Sydney. Um, and yeah, it, it was just a really lovely place to grow up, suburban. Um, and my mum and dad are very particular about us learning about other cultures. So we just had, um, we we're just really in touch with what diversity really is. Um, so yeah. It, Western Sydney, the bomb. <laughs> Where you you do have like an accent. Where what is what is the accent? Um, I'd say Aussie, but because I've lived in uh in Ghana for the better part of I'd say now ten years, um, I've definitely sort of changed my accent to be better heard there. Australians tend to speak quite quickly I think um or or our accent is perceived as quite fast or really really slow um and I found that the feedback I got consistently was like speak English please speak English <laughs> I'm like I am <laughs> so I have to really slow my um my accent down and actually start to articulate my words mm -hmm. so that people could really catch what I was saying <laughs> so I'm sure there's bits of that still I mean, I've been talking to all the Aussie girls out here for the last two weeks, and that's kind of been a nice transition back into how I grew up speaking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, there's definitely still bits and pieces of the the terms and the the articulation that I've had to like 
cultivate over the last five years. Yeah. Uh, do you find yourself like, are you like kind of like a chameleon with like that? Like when you move back and forth, like where you start to, if you're there for a couple of days, you'll pick up the way that they're talking and stuff. Yeah. I mean, what do they call it in, in oh, shape shifting <laughs> um, or code, code shifting, I think they call it. So yeah, I definitely start to rearrange the words I use in my sentence. I add please a lot more. Um, <laughs> um we thank god we, you know like lots of mm. little little things that you add in there and i think that i was just talking to someone yesterday uh about how interesting it is to be a, a diasporan from anywhere um you kind of have to have two or three different places on lock in mm. your mind your accent your body so yeah it's cool we get there <laughs> <laughs> uh i think like because you're you know from different like a different part of the world and you get to represent like a character in Valorant I know that there's like so many like good representations of characters in Valorant and I think they did like a really amazing job when it comes to hitting so many different parts how does that feel to be able to I mean I know you may not think of yourself as like you know the number one representation of that but you do get a represent for a game that's pretty large like how does that feel it's humbling um i'll tell you the truth i didn't think um much of my voice uh especially as a voice like i think um i trained as a performer so mm -hmm. i feel i've always been confident enough to say i want to perform and so on um but i had years where i just um was kind of in a situation where I was like, your voice isn't that great, like, especially for recording. Um, and I'd had a bit of practice prior to getting Valorant. Um, and and I think what I did is something, this is a bit inspirational, everybody, <laughs> but what I did was kind of really like internalize things people had said to me, like about my abilities, even though I think deep down I knew I could. Mm -hmm. um, and so, when I got called for, for like for the audition, I was like, um, there's no way I'm going to get a gig on anything. And I was actually called for it as a radio theater project. And I'd been working on um, creatively directing a, a, a radio play at the time. So I was like, oh, this is interesting. Like, why not? Um, and I'd voiced a few characters in that one. So I was like, oh, I've had a bit of practice over the last month or two. I, I'll give it a go, but like, I'm definitely not gonna get much out of it. Uh, and then I got there and they're like, oh, it's actually for a game. And I was like, a game? And then they kind of showed me a picture of like Astra at that time and a bit about her background. I was like, yo, this is awesome. Like, ah, literally inside. I was like, ah, but on the outside, I was like, oh, cool. Like, nice. She looks pretty funky. Um, so it's it's so humbling, and uh, I guess as a diasporan, it does really um, sort of make you feel better because you're always trying to find exactly where you belong. Mm -hmm. um, and throughout the process, I was constantly questioning, um, am I getting the intonation right here? Um, did I say that right? And so I was working very closely with... Um, the engineer I worked with in Accra, um, his name is Kofi. Mm -hmm. I think he calls himself Kofi Beat, <laughs> Beat Master or something. I'll find it and send it to you. But he's a really cool guy. And I kept checking in with him, like, did I get that right? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it was so humbling and so important. Um, yeah, just a great, great experience. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm really glad I got it. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know if you were into, well, I'll preference this by saying, were you into any video game before? Like, were you into video games? I'm really sorry, everybody, but I wasn't. Well, um. yeah, <laughs> I was just going to say, like, there's this whole community that these voice actors get into, and I love seeing it because you guys just get so much love when there's a lot of love there, and people like really love these characters and especially me 
I love like the lore and like the backstory and like everything behind it. And then you get to see this character on screen and get to like learn about them. And there's so much things. And then you get just immersed into this world and then they just love you, you know? Yeah, I, I caught um, Carolina, the one who does the voice for, for Raid. Yes. Um, spoke to me a few months ago. And, and before we spoke, I was really like, uh. And she was like, you know, the community is amazing. Like, they just they just really love the character. Um, but it's amazing that they also seem to really like me as well. And I'm like, you guys are just amazing people. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that it does take a, a really empathetic, um, in like, in-touch person to be a gamer. Um, because you have to kind of communicate through these avatars you know and and mm-hmm. like reach a goal um and and that's not that's not something everyone can do and i think that's why the community is like that mm-hmm. um and it's it's it, it's a no it's a world that i'm like this is this is great like yeah you you just you nailed it that's how you guys are and it's we're privileged to be able to be let in on that world mm-hmm. and to be then accepted as well for voice and for personality. Like that's amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, all like this stuff, like what we're doing right now, like I put it, I'll put it on TikTok, and like the one that I just posted has like a hundred and seventy thousand views, and it's just like it's literally like it's uh. Miranda, the voice of Sky, uh, Aaron, who's Sova, and then Carolina. It's just them saying voice lines, and it has 170,000 views. Everyone's just loving it. It's just like, that's... Too much. Yeah, that's the community. They're like, go crazy over seeing like, you do a voice line on a video, you know? Yeah, and that's the funny thing. Um, when, when Carolina prepared me she was like okay so you're gonna probably be asked to say some lines and I panicked I was like I don't remember how I said that line and so I would literally have to because you know when you're in the studio and well in my case because of COVID again um I had to record on my own in a studio in Accra with um the with our engineer and his uh, another engineer and I remember just being in the room, like having to like visualize the world, like Astra's world and, and the game and like how she was feeling, what she was doing. Um, and so each line was just different depending on what they were asking me to do. So by the time I got to like my interview with her, I was like, I need to be in the booth. So I would like close yeah. off, like, oh, you've seen it? <laughs> yeah, I, I loved it. Because didn't, didn't your internet go out or something and then you were somewhere else um i don't know re- oh uh yeah there was there was there was no lighting in my store that i was going to film in so i had to rush to a cafe um and i was like it just doesn't feel the same saying the line yeah. like with <laughs> people and so i was like i'm gonna close off um also because i think astra is astra um and so like rem- yeah the voice comes from me maybe parts of the the personality but like she's her own (laughs) person so i'm like okay i'll say it like this (laughs) (laughs) uh i i am curious when you got the you so you got a picture right and then you see this picture what what is going on in your head when you're trying to to create that voice of astra like what what are you are you creating a backstory and like this is why she is the way she is, and this this is the way she's gonna talk, or is it less thought out than that? Like, hmm. so um, we were given. I was given a backstory when I auditioned. Okay. And that was like awesome. Um, and then I think it, you know by the time I got to recording, like the look of the character had changed a little, and the you know she was developed she had been developed um the story was sort of set as well but there were a few pointers um that i felt we could astra and i connected on um 
culturally and um, in terms of energy and how we view life and and um, space and other people. So I think in that sense, um, she came out of me organically, I feel. Um, she's quite bubbly. I'm bubbly, but she's also quite deep. I'm a bit melancholic as well. So it was like, great. Um, so I think the main thing for me when voicing her was really about getting the energy right um and sometimes you know it was like I'd say a line and they're like okay we actually like you're like we need you to be more energetic so I found that through the whole session or each session I was doing this like shaking thing <laughs> for every line like so that I was always at her level of like mm -hmm. alertness that she's in in the game like what's going on how's it happening so yeah and I had to kind of create what I created in my head is a little different from what you see in the game but mm -hmm. I think it, it helped me to really give a sense of like there's a team we're going together this is the target I don't like you but I like you you're annoying you know so yeah I had to kind of create a cartoon in my mind which was very fun <laughs> yeah personally I think Astra is the most difficult person to use in the entire game I think she's the hardest person to use but I think she is the most important person. I think if Ooh. if you, and I'm not just saying this because you're here, I, I'm being for real. I think like when the professionals play and like their big matches, like if you don't use an Astra, at least right now or like before, if you did not use Astra, like you're at a complete disadvantage. Wow, that's yeah, a lot. That's amazing. Um, I remember seeing the comments when her trailer was leaked <laughs> 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 and a lot of people were like this character, I, and you, you might have to explain it to me cause I didn't actually go through and research to check what it meant, but people were like, I think she's going to get, is it nerfed or like, yeah. you know, that she's not going to last, she's going to be too hard to play. She looks too complicated. And I did watch a very detailed um, video. I can't remember the guy's name, but he he got to trial her with a few other gamers again before she was mm -hmm. released. And he kind of was like, she's a bit limited in this sense and that. So I was a bit like, oh, I do hope people get to play her and like her. So I will say that I've been pleasantly surprised to hear how many people do play um, main, sorry, main Astra um, and... Uh, love her and and like seem to really enjoy using or playing or being her um <laughs> so yeah I, I i appreciate what you said and i think that matches the feedback i've heard mm -hmm. i just think yeah. i think it's a lot of like it takes um it takes time like no one can just you can pick up other characters there's definitely the uh, quote-unquote like starter characters that like you get the game and then you can just play and then kind of understand but astra is more like you spend a lot of time in her the, like the astra realm you know where you're placing the stars you probably yeah like, yeah you, know, you get the <laughs> i need a star I need more astra star or astral stars or whatever yeah but you do spend a lot of time in there it's kind of like you kind of got to be playing chess you know like it's a lot yeah. uh there's it's a lot of timing because she has you know when she says pulling them in that thing yeah so there's it's it takes it takes a smart person to actually use her correctly like you can either have a really good astra or you can have a really bad astra <laughs> and they make a world really of a difference smiling. yeah yeah they make a world of I a difference that. so you don't see her a lot like in the the lower ranks because it's, it's right. harder you know yeah i think i need to really try and play one day i just feel like i'm going to really like not get her right and i'll be like <laughs> <laughs> like no <laughs> yeah i i've i don't think i've i haven't spoke to a voice actor who has played valorant yet so i think I I think I think you're good right now to the point where it's not like you're the only one who hasn't done it. 
You know what I think it is? I think it's also partially that as we're playing, we'll be like, why did I say the line that way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, the they, they picked that one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And actually on that topic, there was um, a particular line that I did do, and I don't think I'm going to tell you guys what it is. I'd prefer people guess what it is. But um, there was a line that I did three or four times. And the last, second last take, I think I added a different word in. And I remember going home and I was like, that was like not quite the right word. And I don't know how like Ghanaians who speak Chi will take it. So I was like, I'm going to email them. So I was like, hey, guys, there was this one line I said and it wasn't quite right. Da, 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 da. And that's the line that ended up being used. And people keep messaging like, this is my favorite line. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> I'm 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 scrolling through right now. I don't know if I will <laughs> be able to figure out what it is. I uh, will not reveal. Um. All right. The elephant in the room. You gotta explain. Is it chale? Okay. So chale. 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 Yeah. So chale. Kind of chale. You go up on up. the le. Yeah. All right. I I don't. Chale. Yeah, always okay. there. Chale. So chale is um actually a I forgot the word they use, but it's a a Ghanaian twist on the name Charlie. Mm -hmm. And so the story goes that um when the British colonized the Gold Coast, which is now Ghana, um where Astra and myself are from, um you hear them say Charlie, 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 a lot. Um, and so I guess over time, it became like a joke between the locals to call each other Charlie Charlie as like my friend. Mm -hmm. So it ended up becoming Charlie. Um, so when you see someone, hey, Charlie, what's up? <laughs> oh, yeah, Charlie, I did. So yeah, that's what Charlie is. And then if I could get the, uh, I need to find it. I know what it is. But I also, I don't know what the last part says. It's the, okay. I, I call you Chale because you're my friend, but maybe I should call you Questia. Yeah. Is that? Questia. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't, what's, yeah. The, what's the last word? Because. Um, you fool. So you fool. Oh, okay. So not like you're a fool which is a tad bit insulting, <laughs> especially in Ghana. <laughs> but um, when someone is like playing around or joking or clowning or being silly, we say, hey, you fool, like you really, you're really silly. So when we add all to the end of anything or pa or cra, it just means like you're not just fooling, you're really fooling. So um I would I'd call you Charlie because you're my friend, but I think I'll call you Kwasia, which means stupid, because you fool. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's that's yeah. one of my favorite lines. I think that's a lot of people's favorite lines. But definitely. It's, but it's I also. Read it, I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also one of those where, because there is a couple in the game with like these, uh, uh, characters from different cultures where they'll say something and the person uh you know like me who like is just hearing it not reading it or like not doing research on it i don't really know what it like says or mean but i'm like i, I love it i love it <laughs> so that's that's one of them that i had no idea i i knew um i knew about the the chale th or chale thing a little bit yeah. but i just wanted to hear it from you too yeah that's it that's the one uh, yeah Kwasia is a bit harsh you probably wouldn't say it often, and if you did, you'd make sure that you either really meant it or you were like, yo, Kwasia, like, you're just stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, if you ever use that, guys, please make sure, like, the and the longer you, like, elongate the Sia, says how silly the person <laughs> is. So it's like, Kwasia, then it's like, oh, gosh. <laughs> is it you humming? Yeah. It is. It is. I always, I always hear every time the humming comes on, someone says something about it, whether it's good or bad. 
someone always points it out, you know? And I can't even remember what I hummed. I really wish I could hear it because a few people have asked about it and I'm like, where do they put the hum that like, oh, it's, it's just so noticeable. It's right when the round starts, you just hear humming. <laughs> That's it. There's no, there's nothing to provoke it. There is nothing. It's just Astra hum. Sorry. I love it. She's just like, I'm out here killing people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish I I wish I was confident enough because I feel like I can kind of like hear it, but like I, I it's definitely ingrained in my mind. So your hum you humming is engraved in my mind. You know what's great about that? Um the first few days I was recovering from like a cold. Mm -hmm. And so at a point, I thought we were going to have to re-record, especially in the parts where I'm laughing, because I was like, <laughs> like, <gasps> so, so the humming was, <laughs> was so hard, because I was like, uh, can't breathe, <laughs> you know, that's how it felt, but we thank God that it worked. <laughs> I personally, I love the hum, by the way, mm. and I think, I don't know, you, you got a really good hum. It's really good. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, can we get a, like, a pulling them in? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Remember that I might not say it the way you... Okay, great. Good. Pulling them in! Pulling them in! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. I... I don't know. I, I would definitely understand... Cause I've had a, I've had Miranda ask me to do a voice line of hers to her. And I was oh. like, that is so much pressure. Like, I'm so glad you said that. So can you do one of Astrid's? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> before, <I'm so> <laughs> before this, I was doing all of them to my friends. I was literally just doing them. Because they would be like, who are you doing the podcast? Because I tweeted, like, I'm doing another podcast. And then they're like, who are you doing the podcast with? And then I would just say the voice line instead of, like, saying who it was. I'd just be like, you guess. Okay, so I'm going to ask you, who are you doing the podcast with? <laughs> I said, pulling them in. <laughs> Yo. Uh, too good. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I need you to do the Klesia line. I don't think I can. Ugh. I believe in you. If I could, I'm trying to find it reading it. Because I think that would be a little bit better. But I can't find it on this thing. Ah. I can try to I'm trying to think of another one that would be cool to hear. It's not going to be cool to hear from me. That's what you think. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> I know for a fact. Ugh, I'm like sweating <laughs> right now. <laughs> I said it too the other day. I was like, one of these days, I'm going to do a voice line for a voice actor. And I, I would <laughs> and it was you who got it first. <laughs> Honestly, everyone, this makes me really happy because you know <laughs> you, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I'm, I'm Should actually. I you? What? <laughs> Should I introduce you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, we're we're good. We're good. Oh, my <laughs> my cheeks hurt right now. I was laughing really hard. What actually I do I do want a little bit of an explanation on this one because I don't know <laughs> it says I don't even I'm gonna butcher it and I'm sorry in advance but I'm just gonna try to get it out woo new to me the take want to mean taki okay what's that yes so want to mean taki um hilarious. I'll tell you a story about that line as well, guys. All right, so let's hear the story it. goes. <laughs> um, 
So Astra, I, the writing of Astra was quite um, mixed between English, Pidgin English and Tree, um, which is, so we have different, lots of languages, 50 something languages in Ghana. One of them is Akan and Akan has about five or six different um, dialects. I speak a dialect called Fanti, but Astra speaks one called Tree and specifically Asante tree. So if anyone out there knows about Ghanaian history and the Ashantis, that's the, that's the dialect um, Astra speaks in this. And because I uh, speak Fanti mainly and English is my, my first and most fluent language, I read the line wrong. So the wun to me is like, you can't. Wu is you. And to me is like, you can't, you, you just you can't. Um, so that's fine, but the taki is actually pidgin English for like, you, you can't touch this, like mm. you can't you can't level up, and it's pidgin English from Kumasi, which is the Ashanti region, and I just had never heard the term because I didn't go to university there, I I'd never heard it. So I remember saying in explanation to the writer Odin, like, oh, the line is what's min taki like. You can't take it. And then Kofi, the engineer, was like, uh, Effie, just a minute. Um, it's tacky. And I was like, oh! <laughs> like, that was the most embarrassing moment on, like, God. I was like, I can't. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the line. Wun to min tacky. Yeah, I, that's, mm -hmm. if you wanted to know where that's used, it's after you win a round, but no one on your team dies. So that's that. That's where that's used. Can't touch it. Yeah. So I mean, it makes <laughs> sense now, but yeah. I was just wondering. Um, do you do you know what Astra like all her abilities do? Are you familiar with that? A little, but because I'm not playing it actively, I don't think I remember all of them. Mm -hmm. I do know that she can go up into the astral um, realm or whatever, and she can plant stars, mm -hmm. and like she can cover stuff with a thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think that's those are the ones I remember. Okay. I just want to yeah. know if you, like, so she places the stars down, right and then you have the option to choose what goes on the star so you could do like a smoke to like block something so i think she says like uh uh blocking vision right that's, right that's, uh that's the smoke and then pulling them in is the gravity well which like spins yeah. them into like oh, the, yeah. the middle and then i think she does I'm doing like the hand motions she does, like, it's like, important. like pulling the, like she does like something like that, and uh, this is in my brain, uh, <laughs> but yeah, she and then she uh, does concussing, which I think she does like this or something. Ooh. Uh, so she d she like if they're by the star, it'll like stun them. Oh yes, I remember hearing about. I was yeah. watching about that. Yes, so and they then, get a bit confused. Yeah, and then yeah. the uh, the world divided, which is like a big wall. Yep, I yeah. love that line because I don't think I ever got it right. <laughs> <laughs> In my head, it was like this epic Lord of the Rings moment, and I was like, "World divided." <laughs> like, um, Effie, can you kind of <laughs> redo that? I was like, "Okay, world divided." <laughs> So yeah, I just, you know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, do you, would you, um, would you like, I know we talked a little bit about like actually playing the game, but would you actually like to at least experience it? Yes. Would I? Yeah. I think so. I feel like I would. I yeah. I have friends in Accra who play and got Astra when they found out it was me. Like, <laughs> Is this you? I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm like, oh my god, no. 
Um, so I think I should. I think I should. Do you what know, is doing this? <laughs> people, I I mean, it might not be that like, um, like uh, desired for you to do, but like putting on your mic and then saying like an astra line in the game, people would go crazy. They would love okay. that. They would love that. All right. All right, guys. I'll just get some training in, start watching some videos. Uh, we can do it. I can do it. Hey, let's do it. <laughs> I I was watching uh, uh, Shannon, the voice of Jet. I was watching her stream because she, she plays. Um, oh. And... <laughs> There was, there was a person who found out that it was her in the game. And I remember him, like, wanting, like, a custom voice line of, of Jet saying, like, I like chocolate chip cookies or something like that. And I was just like, that sounded funny to me. <laughs> and then she it did it. a lot. The, <laughs> do, wait, do people ask you to do custom voice lines? Yes. Um, and for as much as I can, like, I get a lot of happy birthday requests. Um which I think is so sweet, like people thinking of their boyfriends, their little sisters, mm -hmm. little brothers who play um, Valorant, and they're like, you're their favorite character, can you just say happy birthday? And I'm always like, oh, that's so touching. <laughs> I sound a little different, but I'll do it. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> um, as much as I can. I, I Sometimes I miss the request because they, they go into the part of the DM that I don't actually check all the time. So sometimes I'm there and I'm like, oh my gosh, this person sent this five months ago. <laughs> Happy birthday, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of people like, they're like, oh, can you just say that line? And in my head sometimes, not a judgmental thing, but I'm like, I wonder what makes it different if I'm going to say it the same way as I do in the game. Um, I'm like, does it? Do, do you really want to hear it? Because it's not going to sound as great. <laughs> I promise no one is like, that's not how she actually says it. So I think I think I get where you're coming from, where it's like, I don't want to like disappoint them or anything like that. But I, I can assure you that no one is like, she doesn't say it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually... Yeah, it's good. I was going to... um, Because my birthday... A shameless plug is in about 26 hours so it's like for it's the 12th of august i don't know when that would be for you yeah that would be tomorrow for me yeah like yeah so that that i turn 19 years old <laughs> Charlie, it's gonna be your birthday <laughs> That's that's why I said it was because I wanted something like that. I appreciate that. Mission completed. Okay. I'm thinking about something else. Let's see. I'll think of something again. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, a thing that I do, and you can you can respectfully de decline if you don't feel like you can do it or you don't know how to do it. I don't. Um, my my best friend is a big Valorant fan and I have all the voice actors say like his name and then like something that they say in the game as their character. So okay. if you could say uh is this something that you'd be willing to do? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh his name is I'll put in voice later. <laughs> uh he he his name is Techie and then if you could say like uh going astral after it or whatever, is it astral? Oh, I um, I don't know which one they took of that, but I say something like, "I'm going up to the, uh, to the." Here, I can I can get one that we can. Okay. Um. Uh. Is Techie a Techie? Is that why his name is Techie? See what I did there. I. I don't know what that means. <laughs> What's a Techie? A techie and it's like a tech head. Like oh, a... okay. No, no, no. I, I know what that means. Okay. I was just making sure. I was just making sure. No, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he he plays Valorant and he, he uh, he likes, I guess, I guess you'd call him a techie. His, his, uh, there's a Valorant, like a, like you, everyone has a player card. Like, mm. 
and then I actually use the Astral player card, by the way, because it's because she looks most badass and cool. Yeah. She badass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there's a little. Everyone has like a little tag on theirs, and there's one that says Techie that's spelled like that. So that's what I thought of. Um. Okay, you could say Techie World Divided. That that's an easy. I would say, an easy one. Okay, I'm gonna say it like I remember saying it. So. You're good. You're good. Thank you. You're welcome. So good. I I just want to say you you are incredibly talented and and I uh, I appreciate uh, your talent and y you coming on to do this for sure. Gee, thanks. Oh, <laughs> shucks. <laughs> um, what I I just want to we'll, we'll get a few more talking points and then I'll let you go, but uh. When it comes to the cast of Valorant, how familiar are you with, with everyone and what they've done and stuff like that? Just a couple, actually. Um, mainly Carolina, because I think we've actually had a lot of time to chat and talk and get mm -hmm. to know each other. And she's awesome! <laughs> um, but not too much of the others. I know, I know that when I first got the, the callback, I, I started really researching because I wanted to make sure I gave it my best shot mm -hmm. um, if I got the the role. So I did read up a bit, but I, I hate to say that I it's kind of in the back of my mind no, now. Sure. Yeah. Mm. Well, I was just going to say there there's a lot of like extremely talented people on the cast and like some really uh, well recognizable voices from the voiceover uh world or scene or whatever you may call it um i just want to know your thoughts on being able to be in something like this with you know so many incredibly talented everyone's talented in the thing but like yes. there are some really you know well recognized voices in there yeah i mean similar to being cast it's humbling um and it's also very weird because I suppose there was a point in time where voiceover artists would be in the same room physically mm -hmm. with scripts and mics and and get to see each other and feel the energy. Um, whereas because of, um, not just because of COVID, but also because now technology is so great that we can do things remotely, mm -hmm. you don't really get that um, physical, like, I've met that person, felt their energy, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but it's very clear that it's something special, that the community that experience it have a sense of ownership. So um, being associated with such, like there are some voices that are so opposite to like what the person looks like, right? And you see them and you're like, how did that voice come out of like such a, like what? <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I get what you mean. And it's it's very humbling. It doesn't feel real in many ways. And I suppose, again, it's because of the remote nature of the work. Um, I hope one day we could all like meet and hang out. That would be like so awesome. <clears throat> so yeah, it kind of makes you feel like you've, you've hit like a point and it's like, yeah, you just keep going from there um, to keep the, the muscle going and stay relevant and um, keep using your talent to make people happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, would you like to go to like, have you heard about conventions, like stuff like that? Is that what you, yeah. I have. And since my conversation with Carolina, I've been deeply thinking about a, like a, a look for Astra. Um, like there was one lady that I saw that did a, um, her two Comic-Con, like, is it Comic-Con? Uh, yeah, that's one of them. Yeah. There's another one. Yeah, but she did like a two costumes for it. And I was like, oh, people like sent me the link. They're like, have you seen this? I'm like, yes. So yeah, I'm trying to think of a costume as well. Don't know when I get to one, but I'd I, love to. I personally would love to like be 
there as well, like at a convention, because I've done stuff with voice actors, like from Valorant, and I'm just like, that would be so cool. I wonder, like, if anyone would be like, oh yeah, I did a podcast with you. <laughs> yeah, of course. So I, I don't think we'd forget you anytime soon. <laughs> Well, I've done stuff with with a couple. You're my fifth one that I've done, and then me and yeah, you're on it. yeah, I'm on it. I'm trying. I'm trying to knock down every single one, but there's some that are pretty hard to reach. <laughs> there's there's the harder ones. But I thought Carolina was gonna be a harder one, but I got her on here too. I mean, she was. I mean, it was difficult, but not as difficult as I thought. So, <laughs> and she she is a delight. She is so oh. so sweet just the best person her energy is so great it's yeah that's it her in a nutshell like just fun bright um and she sets you at ease doesn't she like, yeah really yeah. yeah she she's been through it you know like she knows she knows what she's doing and that's for sure yeah um i'm, I'm just probably gonna ask you for like maybe one or Two voice lines and then okay um but i need to find one that i want i wish more people played astro around me so i could hear more of these because I, I, there's some that i have i don't even think i've ever heard uh -huh. um we did so i just i don't want to make you say another one that i've already done so we did like uh pulling them in, right? Yep. And world divided. Yep. Oh, you this is actually this is you know Astra is like like this or part of her personality is you can tell a person's character by their first actions. Check me then, eh? Or yep. eh? I'm just writing it down so I can say it in one go. <laughs> okay. I loved this line. Um, by their first action, is that right? Yes. Check me then, it. Yeah, I loved that line, and I feel like it, it kind of really encapsulates um, Astra's like playful wisdom. Mm -hmm. Like, she really is a, a bit of an old soul, young at heart, but she really gets. People. Yeah. Okay, so you want me to do that line? Yeah. You can tell a person's character by their first action. Check me, Dennis. <laughs> uh, it <laughs> it never gets old hearing it in my ear like that. It never gets old. I loved that. They used that in the trailer, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, uh, have I told you you're okay? You're okay, fam. Good eve- good even? Good evening, maybe? Good eve- good eve- good mm, e I don't remember the end of that line. It just says good even. Good even? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't even remember that one. What was the beginning of it? Have um, I told you you're okay? You're okay, fam. Okay, I'll say that part. And this, I hope you don't mind me giving you a backstory to each line. But No, I love it. I um, love it. <laughs> I remember this line. I I actually had to try not to sound gun like a, a UK, like a London Ghanaian kid. Um, like, I can't even speak English again anymore. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> um, so whilst there are a few diasporans like me from Australia, there are a lot from the UK. Um, and there are there are certain words that we associate with them like fam, blood, in it. Like so, when I saw this line, I was like, "Don't sound British." <laughs> like I'm just like, "How am I gonna do this?" <laughs> so let's see if we can get it. <laughs> so I told you you're okay. You're okay, fam. Yeah, it's a hard one. <laughs> you're okay, fam. Something like that. Mm. I, I, again, I love that line. I just love Astra's energy, you know? She's a, she's a good one. Yeah. 
Yeah, I I don't have any other ones that I will make you say right now. Thank um, you. <laughs> but I I appreciate this so much. You you're an amazing person. You're very talented, and I appreciate you coming on and doing this with me. I'm very grateful for you. Thanks for having me. This has been really cool. We should just chat all the time anyway. Um. <laughs> I'm I'm down. I I love I love chatting with my my favorite uh, characters from Valorant. That's that sounds great. Yes, and thank you for what you're doing for the gaming community. I mean, I think this is really good for for them as well. So, and thanks everyone for supporting Texture on this cuz Chale the beat <laughs> thank you thank you uh that's that's the end of this podcast uh i'll have everything uh, all links down below and i'll see you guys later peace